Headline News, CNN Network. Seattle's best-known landmark is getting a spring cleaning for the first time since it opened for the 1962 World's Fair. Karcher, a cleaning specialist company from Germany, is including the needle as part of its cultural program. They donate their services to clean major landmarks as a way to give back and beef up their technical training. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. Seattle's most famous landmark is getting a bath. Crews are on top of the Space Needle cleaning off 46 years worth of dirt and pollution. Now, the company in charge of this dirty job came over from Germany. Obviously we want to do things that are eco-friendly and uh, washing the needle with just hot water seemed like a very good idea. Uh, when the Karcher company approached us, uh, they are worldwide experts but both with uh, equipment and services in this area and we thought this would be a great opportunity to take advantage of their equipment and their expertise. The Space Needle in Seattle. 1.5 million visitors per year make it one of the most popular tourist attractions in the U.S. A symbol of future and technology. But after its repainting 10 years ago, this famous American icon has lost its original shine and needed to be cleaned. The ecologically friendly cleaning method Karchi used for Mount Rushmore in 2005 was also applied at the Space Needle. The process is 100% green and is accomplished with very hot water and high pressure washers, replacing the need for harsh chemicals and ensuring that the Space Needle has been restored to its shining glory. A team of highly qualified abseiling professionals descended from the top of the Space Needle, cleaning only with pressurized water. A rope access safety supervisor manned the ropes and abseiling equipment from above. Cleaning via the rope access technique avoided having to erect costly scaffolding around the Space Needle. The cleaning took place at night, from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. daily so that the Space Needle could remain open to the public for the duration of the cleaning. Yeah. Go mango. Yeah. Yeah. Supervising the entire cleaning project was Karcher's Torsten Mervis, right. a pollution expert. Mervis abseiled down just... behind the team and inspected the clean surfaces, thus guaranteeing consistent results for the 605-foot structure. Assisting Mervis in the care of the machines during the cleaning were Karcher's US colleagues, based in Camas, Washington. The Karcher team faced several challenges in their advanced planning, testing and analysis. The unusual shape of the Space Needle, the dense cityscape and the proximity of important buildings nearby. Karcher was using pure water, so it drained very well, even with the dirt it carried away. The surface grime on the Space Needle was comprised of grease, pollution from carbon emissions, bird droppings, and plain dirt. Karcher decided early on to donate its services in the cleaning of monuments and landmarks, both as a goodwill gesture and for the opportunity to receive valuable feedback from workers, officials, and scientists involved in the cleaning process. This feedback in turn enhanced Karcher's research, development, and manufacture of new products their primary business. The local employees have done amazing things, especially the sideways horizontal movement in the pulley system technology, which was a major challenge. We are very satisfied with the results. I think a good example is that a resident from Seattle asked the city administration whether the Space Needle had been repainted. In addition to Mount Rushmore and now the Space Needle, Karcher has donated its services to the cleaning of some 80 historical monuments. Cleaning the Space Needle was just one of many Karcher projects to preserve major monuments and buildings worldwide and is another good example of international cooperation and friendship.